Good morning. All right, here we are out here at the job that had um, a problem I told about in the other video where the surveyor got off, uh, set everything 30 foot off. So half the water system had to be removed over 30 foot. Um, the pond had to be moved 30 foot over an acre and a half pond. So we're talking about this is kind of a big oop you know? But that's not what this one's about. That's another video. This one right here is about, we started a storm. Woohoo! All right, you can see the guys there behind me. See the pipe laser right there. This right here, I think we got 990 feet to run of 24 inch. Um, what the guys started, we just started yesterday evening to get started on. So ain't a lot to show you, but I'll take it and show you what we got. That red stake right there is our next box. Okay, so we're going that far to the box. See how close we get to it. Now with the box, we set up this laser. Okay, when you get your prints, the, they're going to have top of rim elevation and they're going to have flow line elevation. Okay, so we start top of rim and flow line with this laser in that box. That gets us started and then the laser down there keeps the right pitch going. Okay, so takes a couple little things to get it done. Now the old timers used to do this with just a sight and you can still do it, it's very accurate. And also if you see somebody out there with just a sight, don't think, don't think anything funny because they're probably smarter than the average person with a laser because they really not understand what they're doing like the old timers. And, uh, <laughs> All right, here's the guys, they're putting the stabilizer in. We got one pipe set. Getting this hole ready. Once we get it all dug out, put stabilizer in it, set this box, and then we'll move on to the next one. So we'll show you how that goes. There's a box. When you get it, it looks like this. That round circle you're looking at is where you put it in there, uh, your pipe come in there. Uh, it's bigger than what you need. So you can handle multiple pipes of it. If I have a tape measure with me, I'll show you. This is what you do. Now this box, this box has a pipe coming in and another one going out the other side. So that's why you see the hole. So what the guys do is take the sledgehammer and you knock that out. And that's where you go. And the next step is when you put your pipe in, you mud it. So that's the box and how you bust it up. All right, here what we're doing. You gotta mix up. It's gotta be a non-shrink grout. And you have to, the hole that you bust in the box. You had to fill it up. So, that one got a little big. Yeah, I got a little happy with that one. That's 24 inch storm, called HDPE. We're having to stop for the day because our plant that we get our stabilizer sand from broke down. If you'll look right up under there, you had to put a bed of stabilizer sand. You had to go down through there. You had to have a minimum of six inches and to go down, then you had to cap it. You can't cap it until your inspector sees it. So this is how the storm gets. Now what the stabilizer saying, it has the cement mix in it. When that stuff gets hard, it'll keep that, bite, that pipe from bending and stuff. If a pipe bends, it'll get start collecting water, trash and all that, and you'll get stop up. So it keeps it nice and straight. Too bad they 
We didn't get everything. We were all out here. This is a Saturday. That round circle you're looking at is where you put it in there, uh, your pipe come in there. Uh, it's bigger than what you need, so you can handle multiple pipes of it. If I have a tape measure with me, I'll show you. This is what you do. Now this box, this box has a pipe coming in and another one going out the other side, so that's why you see the hole. So what the guys do is take the sledgehammer and you knock that out, and that's where you go, and the next step is when you put your pipe in, you mud it. So that's the box and how you bust it up. All right, they cut that little piece right there off. So it'll fit up in there. Now we're gonna put it back up in. laser right there that laser's shut at a perfect angle so that pipe is the same distance all the way down from that laser still a little bit more fixing see what it takes to set a storm box. in place.
He's checking it for straightness. and drop in. If you want to be right, you gotta take the time to set it right. Everything about that thing has to be leveled, has to be set in at a certain distance. You gotta mud around. Uh, when you get done with this part, then the inspector's gonna come look at it after you get it mud. But then they're gonna send the surveyors out and they're gonna do it as is. So they'll shoot every one of your flow lines, your boxes and all that to see how close you got it to the what they asked for. If it ain't on the specs, they can make you take the whole system up. So all of these specs for the height of that box is actually determined from that corner right over there. Their benchmark is over there. So the city goes by with that the benchmark they gave us to go by. And at all the math, you come down to that box is supposed to set at that height, and that pipe is supposed to be at that height at this point in the intersection. And that's that. Got to give it a little love tap to get it settled in there. Well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, starting uh, putting in the storm for this commercial spot. Uh, we'll follow these videos through. I'll give you plenty of updates to show you all the procedures. Uh, right now, that's all we can do. Our plant broke down, so kind of sucks you get up on Saturday to go to work. You know, you're ready to go to work. You ain't ready to play around. If you're going to get up Saturday morning and spend a Saturday working, let's work. And it sucks the plant broke down. So we're kind of at a standstill. So we're going to call it at that. But you're not at a standstill. And you feel free to hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Let's see what I can do with these videos. I appreciate all the support. Thank you.